بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so if you get back to the topology the physical topology here so this is my physical topology which we are using now in my setup i want my topology to be something like this so we'll be using the pca which is going to act my in internal device and this is going to connect to switch one physically that's a connection how it goes and then to router one which is acting as my gateway for my wsl apps and then from there i'm going to access the router two now router two is acting as my outside network so this is going to be my outside and this is going to be my lan and and from the pc i'm going to generate some traffic to the router 2 towards the router 2 as it goes to the gateway and again i'll be using some other uh, layer to connections here like i'll be using wsa here in our labs we'll be using that so again the wsa part i'll be coming to that but first we'll set up the physical topology so the router one goes to the switch two and then to router two. So logically how it should look like, it should look like the PC, PCA. So the PCA connects to the gateway. Now this is my LAN and then this is my outside interface. So we don't have a direct connection or the direct cable between R1 and R2 and we don't have a direct cable connecting from r1 to switch a so we need to figure out how physically they are connecting so if you if you just see the topology here in my case it's going to be something like this the router one connects to the pca so pca connects to this something like this which is my lan so this is my pc this is my gateway and then the router, the piece, the router one connects to router two, something like via this to router two, via switch two. So, which means if you if you try to figure out these ports as per this one, so let me write down the ports here because you need to do the basic setup kind of thing. So, this is like F1 by 0 by 8, 18, I think, goes and connects to that port and this is f1 by 0 by 1 it goes and connects to router 1 on the router 1 i think it is g0 by 0 and this is g0 by 1 g0 by 1 and then this is uh, this is let's see so first we'll confirm this if you see this f0 by 1 port goes and connects to switch this port so if you see the exact same thing same ports I have written here, so the exact same ports. And likewise, between router one and the router two, we have G one by these ports, G one by one, G one by zero by one, and G one by zero by two ports. So this is my physical uh, topology. So what I need to do is I need to go to the switch one and I need to create the VLAN. So I'll be creating a VLAN here and we need to make sure that these two ports in one VLAN are same VLAN so that these two can be a part of the same network. And similar way, these two ports should be in the same VLAN. So in terms of uh, physical topology, we need to make sure that uh, these two ports are in the same VLAN. So VLAN numbers, I'll decide. I have to see which VLANs are not in use. Accordingly, I will decide the VLAN numbers here. Now let's go ahead and configure these things. So first I'll try, I'll start the configuration between the router one and the router two. So on the router one and the router two will be using some kind of IP addressing. So we'll, we'll see the IP addressing is not configured here. So I'm getting into G0 by one interface and then we'll, we'll assign some uh, random IP. So in my case, let's say I'm using 10.0.12.1. 
100.0.12.1 IP. And then no shutdown command to make the interface up. And likewise, that's it. We'll, we'll also configure the IP on, on the other side. Other side we'll see as per my topology. So I have to see whether I can change the IP or not. So according to the existing topology, we'll, we'll assign the IP. Likewise on the router two as well. Interface G0 by one. So the IP address is going to be 100.0.12.2. So here I'll be using 100.0.12.2 subnet here. So it will be 100.0.12. Subnet here. That's sometimes what I'm using here. 100.0.12.2 here. And then no shutdown command to make the interface up. And once you do that, the, you also need to make sure that these two ports are in the same VLAN. Now this is a kind of basic uh, switching we need to say. So we need to go to the switch two. So on the switch two, and we'll go ahead and try to create the VLAN. So before you go ahead and create the VLANs, you always need to make sure that uh, we, we will see what are the VLANs already present because we already have a predefined VLANs as per the topology. So if you check my topology here, so we already have these individual devices in different VLANs. So we are not going to disturb that. So we'll stick to that one. So because when we are using the WSA, I'll be using this VLAN, which connects to the management port. So for WSA1 and WSA2, in our case, so I'll be using the VLANs, which, which are not present here. So you can see the VLAN, uh, VLAN 300 is present. <clears throat> so 1020 is present. So I'll try to assign the VLAN 500 in my example. So we'll create VLAN 500. And then we'll create a v VLAN 500 and the VLAN 501, two VLANs. I'll try to do the same thing here as well on the switch one. Anyway, not required as of now, but let's create the VLANs on both the sides, both the switches. And as per my topology, I'll be using this new VLAN. So VLAN 501. So I'll be using this VLAN 501 here. And if required, I'll use VLAN 500 for my LAN. So let's assign this port interface range g1 by 0 by 1 hyphen 2 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 501 now basically what this means is if you go to the router 1 and if you try to ping to the router 2 ip if the vlan configuration is correct i must be getting a reply because they are connecting through switch two, G one by zero by one and two. See the port should be up. So I must be getting a reply from, from these interfaces. So now you can see I'm getting a reply. So it just takes some time. Now this, this is almost like as if you have a router one connecting to router two directly. So, so most of the time when you are accessing the things on the racks, it will be lo lo totally different from what we do in our normal lab scenarios. Because in our normal lab scenarios in GNS3 or in any of your virtuals, we just connect a cable directly between router one and router two. But again, uh, practically you cannot do that on the racks because they just wanted to give you the flexibility to create as you want. So that's the reason there will be a default connections, uh, which will go. So based on the VLANs, you can create any, any form of logical topology as per your requirement. So if I want the router one to connect to router, uh, so CSR one, I can, I can just go ahead and connect by creating some VLANs. Because if you see the topology here, if I want to connect this router one, 
G zero by zero should go and connect to the to the another device, like maybe an ASA or maybe a, this this uh, CSR one here. So I can connect because it connects to here, and then I need to configure the trunk, and from the trunk link they they can connect. So that's that's the kind of flexibility you get. Of course, in the security rag, you don't need many many routers. So there will be some CSR virtual routers used here, uh, typically for VPNs and other stuff. If you want to simulate the labs on the VPN or the like flex VPN or any DM VPN options. 